In this video, we are going to talk about the definitions and meanings of some difficult terms. So if you are working in quality assurance or willing to work in quality assurance or want to understand these quality and food safety standards. So you must know the definitions of these basic difficult terms. Uh, there are so many quality and food safety standards and in every standard there is a section where they define the meanings of some difficult terms. For example, in ISO 22000-2018 version, there is clause 3 where they define the meanings of some difficult terms and they have defined 45 definitions of difficult terms. So out of these difficult terms, I have just listed 10 difficult terms and in this video, we are going to understand these 10 difficult terms which are very important to work uh, in quality assurance or to understand these food safety standards. Let's start with the term number one that is food safety. What is food safety? Food safety is a technique, food safety is a method, is a procedure, food safety is a concept that food will not cause any harm when it is being prepared or eaten. There are number of food safety practices and different industries adopt and do different type of food safety practices in order to ensure that their products are safe for consumption. Next difficult term is safe food. What is safe food? Safe food is actually a result of food safety practice. Safe food is actually an output of food safety technique. And another definition of safe food is a food which is free of hazards. This is our third difficult term, food safety hazards. Simple definition of food safety hazard is an agent which is added in a product, either it is a physical hazard, chemical or biological and has a potential to cause any adverse effect. You can watch a complete video on the types of food safety hazards in my channel. Fourth difficult term is competence. What is competence? Competence is a ability to perform any task and it depends on four factors. One is qualification, you may call it education. Number two is training. Number three is experience and number four is skills. If a person has all four things or either any one of them, it may consider as a competent person. Fifth difficult term is conformity. Conformity means to fulfill the requirement of the standard or the fulfillment of the requirement of any specification and the opposite of conformity is non-conformity which means non-fulfillment of any requirement of the standard or non-fulfillment of requirement of any specification or set criteria. Then there are two actions which industries normally take in case uh, they, they face any non-conformity either in a process or in a product. They take correction or corrective action. Both are very important. Correction is an action to solve the in-hand problem. Quick fixes is also known as correction. Whereas corrective action is an action to eliminate a root cause of detected non-conformity in order to stop its reoccurrence, in order to prevent its reoccurrence. So what is the difference between correction and corrective action? It solves the in-hand problem. Immediate action is also called correction and corrective action is to solve the root cause of that problem so that it cannot be occurred again. Then the eighth difficult term is HACCP. HACCP. What is HACCP? HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. And the definition of HACCP is it's a systematic preventive approach towards food safety that addresses hazards, all food safety hazards as a mean of prevention rather than a final product inspection. It's a, it's a food safety guideline. You can also call it as food safety practice, which was introduced by UNO in 1969. Then the ninth difficult term is flow diagram. And again, if you are going for certification or compliance of any food safety standard, you have to construct a process flow diagram, which is step number four in HACCP. So one must need to understand the definition and meaning of flow diagram. What is flow diagram? Flow diagram is a systematic presentation of the interaction and sequence of steps in the process. The last difficult term is audit. Audit is a systematic, independent and documented process 
for obtaining audit evidences and evaluating it objectively in order to determine the extent to which audit criteria are fulfilled. Systematic means organized and audit criteria means standard. So audit is a, is a, is a process which is organized and it is always done against any criteria or standard. Hope these definitions and these explanation gives you some better concept and understanding of some of the difficult terms which are present in all the food safety standards. If you still have any question or query, please write it in the comment box below. And thank you so much for your attention and watching this video.